In early November 2020, the serene community of Arunachal Pradesh was rocked by the murder of 29-year-old Techi Mina Leisher, who was seven months pregnant. Known for her role as the Accounts and Finance Secretary for the Miss Arunachal Organization, Mina was a respected figure. However, her marriage to Leisher Roni, the son of a former legislator, had grown tense, largely due to Roni's jealousy and resentment towards Mina's success and community standing. Unable to reconcile his emotions, Roni plotted to eliminate Mina. He orchestrated a plan involving four accomplices, intending it to appear as an accident. On November 5, 2020, Roni lured Mina to travel under the pretense of addressing a land issue. Unaware of the plan, Mina set off for Karsinga, guided by driver Dadhang Suyong, who was part of the plot. Roni instructed Dadhang to detour to a remote area where they picked up two accomplices, Damria Koyang and Chimitea. Using a hammer, they fatally attacked Mina and staged her death as a car accident. Yet evidence raised suspicions. Inspector General Chuku Appa led a detailed investigation upon noticing inconsistencies in the car's accident scene and Mina's injuries, which indicated blunt force trauma. In the following days, forensic evidence and phone records tied Roni to the crime. Kapwang Lidi Loong, a former militant, confessed to being promised money for his part in the murder-for-hire scheme. On November 10th, Roni and his accomplices were arrested. During interrogations, the accomplices detailed the scheme, exposing Roni as the planner. The public was appalled by the brutality and betrayal in the case, highlighting the dangers of domestic violence. It sparked protests, vigils, and campaigns in demand of justice and better protection for women. Mina's story became emblematic of the societal need to address domestic abuse, leading to calls for systemic reform in how such cases are handled, especially when involving powerful families. Though the investigation concluded with arrests, Mina's legacy lives on, urging protection for the vulnerable and advocating for change. Her tragic death serves as a reminder of the imperative to ensure safety and justice for every woman. Fostering a culture where domestic violence is eradicated and support for victims is unwavering.